Hey Scorpio, thanks for tuning into my channel. This is Patty, uh, Patty Boyle from The Healing Room. And I am going to go through your forecast for March 2017. I've already pulled the cards for love, money, and health. And before I move forward, I'd just like to make everyone aware that I'm a firm believer in synchronicity. I do not believe in coincidence. So if you were guided here, that means you will at least get one nugget that will help to put you on path or keep you on path or guide you to something else that puts you on path or keeps you on path. Um, if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, you can get in touch with me through my email. It is thehealingroomcrystals at gmail.com. And um, I would love to work with you. In addition, I want to make everyone aware that it's very important that you look at your sun sign, your moon sign, and your ascendant or rising sign. Uh, sometimes uh, your moon or your ascendant might actually carry more weight than your sun sign. And usually all three together will give you a more comprehensive view uh, for the upcoming month. So anyway, without further ado, let's take a look at what I pulled for your three categories. Let's make sure you can see it. <clears throat> okay, so for the first category here, it is love. Okay, so for those of you who are not yet in a relationship, I feel like there is one coming. Okay, um, I feel like it's going to be somebody who. It's funny because I got the same card for another one of the signs. I forget which one in the same position. Um, so I feel like there is somebody moving towards you who is um, has an earthy energy. They can be an earth sign, whether that's Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, or they could just have that earthy energy. Um, also, they're, you know, they're very good at making money. Um, since it's a night, I'm going to say they are on their way to making more money. I don't believe there is fully established yet, but let's just say they know how to get it. Um, the Ace of Pentacles means this person will be nurturing for you um, romantically, but also um, financially. I feel like, you know, the establishment of a partnership here, you know, I feel like you'll be able to go out to the nice restaurants. You'll be able to, um, you know, if you guys become very close very quickly, who knows, you could move in or get married, you know, and this person would actually be a good fit as far as feeling grounded and having actually a great deal taken care of. You both would uh, really thrive together, okay? Um, the jumper that came flying out of the deck was the Two of Swords. So there's insecurities that's built over the years for you that make you a little hesitant to move forward with this new love. But I feel like once you open your heart, it's been, you've closed it off, okay? And it's hard for you to kind of open up again, but I, I think it's time. And I feel like you know it's time, all right? Um, it's time to just decide to do the right thing for yourself, okay? And get out of your head. You know, with swords, it's it's very mental. Um, so, uh, yeah, I feel like this is the only thing that could possibly hold hold it up. And I feel like it's the beginning of something. Ace of Pentacles, it's reversed. So I feel like it's going to begin, okay? This is for people who are not yet in a relationship. Now, if you are in a relationship, I feel like there's a brand new beginning. I do feel like you guys could be in the process of uh, moving, okay? You guys could be moving to a new place. Um, I do feel like there's money coming in for you. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um... And I feel like it's definitely something that, you know, you're, you're kind of hitting um, a time of thriving together, okay? Um, and if, you know, you guys are together, I feel like you would do well in a partnership in business together. I feel like that would be a plus. So if you guys are already a unit, whether it's living together or you're married, I feel like there's money to be gained in unifying your um, energies together in some way, shape, or form. Working together, maybe a partnership in a new business. Again, the Ace of Pentacles can mean anything new that, that you value. So it could be a new business. It could be uh, getting rooted in a new place, which would be like moving to a new house. Um, the only thing that, again, if I'm looking at the jumper, 
don't be afraid of the new beginning, okay? Because it feels like, you know, you know it's the right thing to do, but you're just hesitating. So just lose that hesitation, okay? All right, the next set of cards, <clears throat> excuse me. Next set of cards here is for money. So I feel like for you, um, I don't know whether you are spendthrift or something's changed for you. You're, you're kind of stagnating in the money department, okay? I feel like it's time for you to look at money a little differently. I don't know if you're frivolously, friv frivolously spending. Uh, say that three times fast. Um, or it's time for you to change your perspective when it comes to your money situation. So I feel like something's hiding in plain sight that could help you increase your finances. For some reason, you're not taking it. I don't know if this is maybe a talent or a gift. Sometimes people are afraid to use their gifts because they're afraid that in their eyes, if they fail, if you know, people don't like what they do as far as what they think is their gift, they'll lose their self identity. Then who am I if, you know, I'm not a good singer or who, but in fact, it's what you do is not who you are. It's just, again, it's what you do. All right. And who cares if somebody else doesn't like it? You will never have everyone like what you do. You will always have haters. That's the nature of the beast. Who cares? All right. If they have time to sit there and worry about what you do, I feel more sorry for them because they really should be working on themselves. So what's going on here is your money situation will improve once you start doing things a little differently with it. Now, okay, so the hangman is going to be just looking out of a different window when it comes to the category of money. So I feel like you've, had, you've been a little stifled with money. It's not coming in like you thought. Okay, maybe you start a new business, money's not flowing. Maybe you start a new job, and they're like, you know what, we're holding your check for another week. And you're like, I really? Um, and it's kind of making you white knuckle the category. Um, but I feel like even if that's the case, you can make money in addition to whatever you're doing here by just utilizing one of your gifts. You have many gifts, you know. Now, especially for Scorpio, you guys are very, you know, when you learn something, you learn it all the way, you go all in, like you're the experts. If you like it, you love it. If you're good at it, you're great at it. Like you guys just don't go in on the surface. So I want you to look into what do you love to do? You know, do a side business, you know, do you love to make jewelry? Do you love to sing? Do you love to play an instrument? Do you love to, um, are you a handyman? Are you somebody who, um, just creates things? And was, you know, have been thinking about maybe putting them for sale, like put them for sale. It's something that's right in front of you that you can completely make money off of. So that's definitely, and that is really what's going to change your money situation. Looking at your money situation differently, you know, don't feel sorry for yourself. Don't be like mad at the world. Don't blame everybody. Um, it's time for you to use one or several of your God-given gifts. All right. When it comes to your health, I feel like this is a brand new beginning. There's inspired action afoot. So I feel like you've gotten an idea of how to make your health better because the undercurrent is the tower, which means that you've just gone through something that's either a little scary. I don't know whether, you know, you may be gotten to a fender bender or maybe, you know, you got not, not a great diagnosis from a practitioner or, uh, you know, something happened where you're like, you know, the tower is breakdown, breakthrough. Okay. So I feel like something scared you something, whether you heard something that you didn't like that had to do with your health or, you know, you went to a doctor and they said, you know what, uh, we're going to need to run more tests. I feel like it's going to work out. You just have to follow your intuition. Page of wands means inspiration from above guaranteed success. If you follow the hits if you follow the download okay I feel like you you've developed a passion for something that's gonna really um, help your health I also feel like since this is the undercurrent it's not it's not really like this is the answer 
and this is the undercurrent. I feel like this is something that's that's past. Okay, this is something that you had the breakdown, breakthrough, and now you're like, you know what? Never again. I'm gonna eat right. I'm gonna like stop drinking. Whatever. I feel like you've had a breakthrough where you're like, I'm not gonna do this anymore. It's just, it's not worth it. And I had such a scare. I'm not gonna do it. <clears throat> All right, so, and I'm also, uh, this week, I'm going to pull one of these cards, which is from the Doreen Virtue Angel Therapy Oracle Card Deck, all right? And what I'm going to do is just ask the angels what message they have for those born under the sign of Scorpio for the month of March in the year 2017. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, meditate for a minute, and then um, I'm going to ask... Ask our helpers. Okay, so bear with me for a minute. I'm going to meditate. All right. I call upon Almighty God, Almighty Goddess upon our highest level spirit guides and angels, guardian angels, higher selves. I especially call upon all the angels that work with all those who will be viewing this video and myself. Please give us insight into what message do you guys have for those born under the sign of Scorpio for the month of March in the year 2017. I'm going to pull one card from the top of the deck. Please give us insight into what message do you angels have for those born under the sign of Scorpio for the month of March 2017. I'm one card. Okay. All right. So you guys got visualize success. Okay. Which makes sense because this is what we need. Visualize success in the money sector. Okay. Visualize great success in the health sector. Okay. I feel like visualize success when it comes to worrying about your relationship sector. So what the card says exactly is set your, see yourself doing well in this situation and have faith in a positive outcome. You're very powerful. And I'm going to be honest with you. Your power of focus, Scorpio, is off the charts. You guys can manifest like forget about it because you're so laser focused. You don't get scattered and distracted like the other signs do. You guys go big or go home like you're going all the way in. So use that to your advantage for these areas of your life where you feel like there's a little trepidation. Okay. Um, visualize your health being like, you know, optimum and you being exuberant and full of energy, you know, for your money. Again, visualize yourself doing that thing that you love and, and that you're making money at it. And finally, with the love, I feel like that's going to be working in your favor this month. But just to get rid of that little, uh, 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 little, uh, you know, I hope this, the other shoe doesn't drop. The other shoe is not going to fall. Nobody, you know, that's the worst thing is we're always waiting for the shoe to drop. It's like, that's a self-fulfilling prophecy. So they're asking you to do just the opposite and see everything, visualize everything working out the way you want it to work out. All right. Because it's, we're powerful creators. We create our existence. We create our surroundings. We create everything. Um, you are on the tip of manifesting all these things. So you literally can turn everything around. Okay. You know, I'm looking at the four of cups here in your money sector. This means the universe is trying to hand you a gift. This is, you know, I keep getting the four of cups for every sign. Again, it's a lot of cosmic things going on, a lot of changes, you know, Gaia is moving up a level with the Ascension and all of us are raising up a level. And as a result, we have to get rid of those areas in our lives where we think we're not good enough. You have to slough them off because that will not work in a high frequency. Like in order to live in a high frequency, you can't have all of these heavy, dark, I'm not good enough energetics. It just won't fly. All right. Um, so the angels are asking that you please visualize. Now, what I tell my clients is I ask them to, when they go to bed at night, before they put their, well, actually, once they hit their head in the pillow, instead of thinking about everything negative, which is what we normally do, like, 
oh, I can't believe that numbskull got away with saying that. I should have said this. I should have come at him. I should have told him off. Instead of all that, that chatter, that waste, lay down, put your head on the pillow, create a mind movie that brings in categories, you know? You know, maybe see yourself confidently with the person you love and let it, you know, go into, you know, you guys are going somewhere, you're going to the bank and you're writing a check for a million dollars together. And then, you know, um, you both go to the doctors and you walk out and you're hugging each other saying clean bill of health. I just feel like you can completely do this and I feel like it will rapidly cause changes for you. Okay. The universe, the wind is at our back right now. The universe wants to adhere to anything that we put out. So it's time for you to put it out correctly and don't moan, don't complain, don't blame. We are the creators. The worst case scenario on some level we did it to ourselves for whatever reason, you know, it could have been a past life, you know, maybe we want to clear some karma. It could be a, a great silver lining that, you know, we don't notice until years later, but um, it's definitely important. And I, what I also tell my clients is have the same exact mind movie, just have it be almost just, it's another repeat every night, a repeat, 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 because what happens is it gets ingrained and then it's so powerful. The universe Literally, you know, your wish is my command. Like suddenly that's, you wake up one day and that is your life. Okay. So I hope that helped this one, Scorpio. Things are definitely going to get better for you. Um, it's really, the universe is just calling upon you to use your many gifts of focus and intensity and um, heart. You know, you guys have great fire and you're really connected to source, you know, Scorpio is very connected, um, especially all the water signs. You're, you know, water is a major conductor. You guys are water signs and um, very, very connected to um, your spiritual helpers. So just listen. I would suggest meditating also for you guys. So I hope that helped. And um, I thank all of you for watching. And I wish you a wonderful, wonderful month of March. Thank you.